Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to my Yeovil Town Career Mode episode number 12. Now I do apologise for the last episode as it was a no win episode and also a no score episode. I just, I don't know what happened, it was just a disaster of an episode. But, in today's episode we are going to get revenge and we're going to win all three games to make up for last one and we're going to keep progressing on in this episode. So as always we will take a look at the three games we will be playing in today's episode. So we start off with a big game against Fleetwood Town in the FA Cup. They are in League 1, we are in League 2. So hopefully that will be a solid good game and we progress on into the FA Cup after beating a team that is in a league above us. And then we finally get some like long distance breaks between games. We haven't had that for a long, a long while now. So we get 8 days off before we go back into another game against Grimsby in the league. We are at home to Grimsby in the league and hopefully we will get 3 points from that and start progressing on up the table and get into that automatic promotion zone. And then, seven days later, last game of the episode is against Stevenage, and that is away. So, there's a chance to progress on to the next round of the FA Cup, and to get six points on the board, and hopefully be top of the table before Christmas. We don't have a lot of time left, but it's definitely doable, and I am definitely optimistic about doing it. So let's take a look at the League 1 table to see how Fleetwood are doing and then let's take a look at League 2 to see how we are doing and also Grimsby and Stevenage. Well I wasn't expecting this anyway, I just went to look at the League 1 table and Fleetwood Town are in dead last. They are 24th place in League 1. We couldn't ask for a better team to play in League 1, could we? They only have 11 points, they've won 3 games, drew 2 and lost 15. They're not even like holding out for nil all draws or anything, they are just getting destroyed they've lost 15 games already wow and they've only played 20 so like that's we have to progress into the FA Cup it's a sure sign we have to progress into the FA Cup so anyway let's bounce back to League 2 and see what our opponents are up to so after the last episode the disaster episode I like to call it we are in sixth place not bad we're on 30 points only four points off the leaders Exeter we have eight wins six draws and six losses so we're still in the green zone but we need to get up into that automatic promotion which is third second or first but the first team we play in the league today are grimsby they are currently second last 23rd place only have four wins seven draws and eight losses with 19 points now unlike fleetwood they are kind of holding on for draws every now and again so they might have a nice little solid defense we'll see I'm definitely taking them seriously again I know I say this every episode about the lower league teams or the lower table teams we have to take it seriously, I need to get 6 points on the board and start moving up this table. And then the final game of this episode is against Stevenage, they are kind of mid-table club, 14th place. 6 wins, 8 draws and 6 losses with 26 points. Now, they're mid-table club but they're only 4 points behind us and we're only 4 points behind the leaders Exeter so it's kind of a close table and I kind of like that. So, so there is a progression into the next round of the FA Cup up for grabs and 6 points on the board so hopefully we can progress into the next round and be top of the table before Christmas or the end of this episode I'll take either of them I don't care so let's take a look at the team before we play Fleetwood Town see who's fit see who's injured and let's get it sorted okay most of my players stamina is very low so I might have to make a few a good few substitutions so this is the team I've chosen now to play Fleetwood in the FA Cup I did have to make a good few substitutions as I said we brought on Butcher instead of Lawless brought on Thomas instead of Schmidt brought on Hedges instead of Zimmerman Brought on Zoko instead of McLeod, and I do realise McLeod's contract has been terminated in real life. I'm just not sure what to do with him really, but we're not going to play him this game. And I want you to leave any suggestions what to do with him. Should I keep him? Should I get rid of him? Or should I just leave him on the bench and sell him in January for a bit of profit? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll do whatever you say, sir. Masters. And then last but not least, we took off Auden and brought in Braun. So that's a good, solid youth squad. If you don't know who Braun is actually, he's one of our youth academy players. He hasn't played a game yet so hopefully he can, this is his time to shine. We've only really played Zimmerman and Schmidt but there is a good few more left to play and I did put them on the bench. We have Dyakov, Kaiser, well that's really it, Dyakov and Kaiser. But that is the team we are going to play so let's get into this game at home to Fleetwood in the FA Cup. Let's go boys! Get that out, don't let them cross it in. Our only weakness is from fucking wings. Get that out, no! Get it out lads, come on. Oh no! Seriously, every time they cross the ball in I concede. This is the worst possible start. I haven't even really had an attack yet and we're 1-0 down. Why did, like, why did Kreisiak just come out 
and just pass the ball straight to them with his fist. Ah, oh, it's the worst start. Look, they crossed the ball in. A stupid cross, and I don't know what he did there, and it's just... An unfortunate series of events, let's just call it that. Dempsey buries it. 1-0 down to Fleetwood already inside 14 minutes. Yes, Thomas. Go on, Butchie. Go on, Butcher. Over the top ball. Yes, go on, Hedges. You have that. You have that all day, Hedges. And hit. Hedges! Yes! In off the post. What a finish. I actually thought that was going wide. My FA Cup dreams were going where that ball was. Way out in the distance. Or after bringing it back in the 34th minute. An absolute peach of an overhead ball. What a touch by Hedges. And just about finishes in off the post. Brilliant. One all just before half time. Brilliant. So that is the end of the first half. We managed to bring it back to one all. We're not playing great. They're kind of all over us. We've only had one shot and we happen to score it. So as long as we're finishing our chances, we might still hold a chance. They are dominating the game though, so I do need to keep a nice defensive minded here. Fleetwood attacking down the wing, we need to prevent the cross and we should be okay. And away, oh, oh, don't let too many, of them. oh that was a good save, I thought that went wide. Jesus, let's hope nothing comes from this corner anyway. Oh, ho, ho. Jeez, that was a fucking serious attack by Fleetwood but we're back at it again. Yes Dixon, now take that with you. Braun's gone ahead of you. Go on Braun, show me why I signed you. Go on, swing it in! Oh no! Back in again! No! That was a good bit of pace by the young lad though. Oh, they're back at it again. Last three minutes. No! Keeper, keeper! Has to be saved! Oh! I nearly had a heart attack there. And Hedges, you are gone. Pace boost, Hedges. Keep going. Keep going, Hedges. Oh, free kick! Free kick. In an alright position, we might be able to swing this in and hopefully get ahead on it in the last minute and avoid a replay. And in Dawson. And get ahead on that. Oh! What oh, after scoring it? I don't believe it. Who scored that? I think that was Shwami. I still don't know who scored it. They're just dabbing away. Show me the back of your jersey. Dawson swung it in from a weird position. I don't think I've ever scored a goal from that angle. What a ball. And he's wide open. And we absolutely buried. I don't believe it. We're avoiding a replay. And we are pro most likely moving on to the next round of the FA Cup. I'm fairly sure that was Shwami who scored that. Yeah. Sao Unmi. Sao Unmi. Sao Unmi. Sao Unmi. That's how I say it. We after doing it, boys. 2-1. We're after beating the Oval Town. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon and they just come back now. I don't think they will. It's the last minute. Oh, boys. We did it. We... Did it! Hedges and Sawunmi. Sawunmi. Oh. I'm never saying that name right. But who cares? Look at him. He's celebrating. We are after beating Fleetwood 2 1. Can you believe that? Let's look at the player's stats before we move on. So Sawunmi, after that, obviously, because his ratings were going to be high at the end of it, he is the man of the match. And the assists came from our two centre midfielders, Butcher and Dawson, which is excellent. And the ratings are all pretty much good. No one's a uh, Shepard is the only one who's under seven, so he didn't have the best game. I don't really remember him anyway. There was as much defending down that left wing, so I presume it was just from inactivity why his um, rating is so low. So that is a great result. We move on to the next round of the FA Cup, and hopefully that is the start of a brilliant episode. So because we have such a big break in between games, now I'm going to take one. Uh, I'm going to take our youth academy players through a training session like I mostly do because they don't get as much game time. So we need to improve their stats through training. So we have Dykoff, Kaiser, Schmidt, Braun and Zimmerman. And hopefully we can get some of these ratings up. So we're going to simulate all these bad boys and see how they get on. So a good training session there. Zimmerman went from 55 rated up to 56. And Kaiser also went from 49 up to 50. So a solid training session for the young lads. So just before we get into our first league game of the episode against Grimsby. We just have an email saying that Darren Ward has returned from injury. After his two week uh, sprained ankle I think it was. So he doesn't start anyway but he is a nice backup centre back. Because he is very experienced. So the team should be fit and ready to go. Let's have a look at it before we enter the game. For the first time in a long time, we have a fully fit starting 11. I'm not sure if it's the strongest. It probably isn't the strongest, but I like to always play the two big youth guys there. Zimmerman out the right wing and Schmidt in the centre attacking midfield position. Because then we do have Amini Harrod on the bench and also have Hedges on the bench as impact subs, so it's not too bad. 
I am starting McLeod in this episode because I really don't know what to do with him. Please leave it down below what I should do. Don't forget, it's the last time I'm going to say it, I swear. So let's get into the second game of the episode at home to Grimsby Town in the league. Let's get three points. Oh, it's a good ball. Dawson, just hit that. Hit that. Oh, keeper has to make a save, though. We get a corner out of it. Dawson, swing that in. And get a hit on it, lads. Oh, what a finish. So I own me again. Two goals, two games, two headers. Brilliant, just before the end of the first half. Truthfully, we haven't done much. Not either of us have done much. I think Grimsby have had the better chances. But it's all about what you score at the end of the day. And we are 1-0 up just before half time. Brilliant. So that is the end of the first half. We are winning 1-0. This episode just keeps getting better by the game. And we are looking at the results from half time around elsewhere in the league. And Exeter are drawing one all against Don Doncaster. So hopefully they can drop points and make it easier for us to squeeze into first spot. Let's start the second half and hopefully it goes much like the first. Yeah, Schmidt, start the, start the attack like you did last time. And into Schmidt. Go on, Schmidt, make that run. Make the run. Oh, just blocked by the defender. Schmidt is playing unreal in this game. Easy, well done. Let's start a counter. And we are gone. Go on, Zimmy. Go on, Zimmerman. Has to turn back, doesn't have the pace. But does it well. That's a true ball. Oh, whoa, what a tackle by the fucking defender of Grimsby there. Whoa. Oh. Yes, McLeod, and hit. McLeod! Oh, just wide. What a great chance. Should have been 2-0 there. And McLeod hit that. Oh, whoa, what a save. McLeod always scores from that angle. That's weird. Thought that was definitely 2-0. Yes, Odin. Oh, unlucky. We're just going to make a substitution here in the 73rd minute just to give some players a run. We are going to bring on Amini Harris because Schmidt has played very, very well and deserves a little bit of a rest. We're going to bring on Thomas for Auden just to give him a run. And last but not least, we are going to bring on Lee for Dawson, another one of our young talents on the squad. So hopefully we can see this game out in the last 15 minutes. Oh, oh that is it. That is it. We have won two games in a row. We are surely making up for the last episode here. We are through to the next round of the FA Cup. And we get three points on the board. Let's look at the player ratings here now. The man of the match was Dawson. I did take him off for Lee. He got the assist and was man of the match. And everybody's rating was... It was okay. It wasn't as good as the last game. But I'll take it. Three points on the board against Grimsby. So we have another seven days off. I'm going to do the exact same training on the exact same players. And then we're going to advance to the next game. And we hopefully we have no injuries. And we can just play the exact same team again. So after that trading session, Dyakov has gone from a 50 rated up to a 51, so always improving. So let's advance and hopefully there's nothing wrong with the squad. So after that lovely week off, I feel so relaxed and hopefully my players do too. We are away to Stevenage, there is no injuries, no emails, so we're just going to play the exact same team as we did in the last game against Grimsby and hopefully that gets the same job done. So here we go, away to Stevenage in the league. So this is how the table is looking as we're coming into this game, Barnet are on top of the table now at 36, we are on 33, so hopefully teams can drop points and we can make it into the automatic, provo the automatic promotion zone by the end of this game. Ah, lads, has to be quicker than that, come on Dawson, push down that wing, and play it in. Just hit McLeod, oh a penalty, surely a penalty. He just came in and destroyed me from behind. No way, that was definitely a penalty. Bad refereeing. To Butcher and Butcher takes it on. Sees McLeod running. Go on. Oh, great tackle. We have it again. Just hit that Butcher, see what happens. Oh, at least it was on target. Test the keeper. We get a shot on target. Not bad. I get a tackle. Get, no, get it away. Oh, thank God he made the mistake. And away. Don't let that in. Don't even think about letting that in. Oh, they have it again. No, get out. Well done, Christ Jack. Get in! What a save! They have a corner. Hopefully we can defend it. And let's not go 1-0 down before half time, please. Yes, and it's away. Go on. Go on, Odin. You have the pace. Go on. The hard bit's over. Just defend. Come on. No! I got caught between two mines. Whether it's a turn back or shoot. And I picked the wrong one. Damn. So that is the end of the first half. 
If I have to say they've had more chances, but we'll look at the shots. They've had two shots, two on target. We've had one and one on target, and the one we had wasn't even that great. So I don't really want to count it. So we're not playing too bad. We've, we're defending well. There hasn't been really any chances to really score from either of us. So hopefully it can improve in the second half. A cross in. Oh, what? Get away. What happened there? I passed off my own player and they just went straight in. Oh, that's that's FIFA. Wrecking my head. And away. Oh, seriously. Stop doing that. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. Oh, Steven has nearly scored from our own mistake. That was a good kick out from us and they just went straight on the counter. That's not good enough. Steven is tacking down the left wing. Oh, we blocked it though. Still, They still have it, which is the story of the game. We block, he gets it back. Oh, they're after turning us. Keep it, keep up in the feet. Well done. Don't let him in. <laughs> Don't let him in. Oh, corner kick. We have to do a lot of defending. They've come out the second half the better team by far. Our ball, no, they're attacking on the right wing again. Our right back is out of position. Blocked that cross, surely keeper's ball. Get in. Straight down that center. Oh, for fuck's sake, why are you running away for? No! I, I threw the ball to him and he just starts to run away. Like, what is going on with my team? We get a goal now, the last three minutes. And you're gone, Thomas. Come on, that's your wing. Show me why I should play you. Show me why. And swing it in. Get ahead. Oh, why did I swing it in? I should have passed. The jerseys look too much the same. Oh, they're after heading it out for a corner. We have done well from headers in this in this episode so far. So, Thomas, swing that in now. Come on, Saumi, get ahead on that. No, straight at the keeper. I do regret not passing it now because I've seen the chance at the end. Now, yeah, that's it. End of game. Nil all draw. In all fairness, we did not deserve to draw that game. Uh, we only had one shot in target, and that was the one shot I showed you, so... No, we didn't deserve to draw that game. We should have lost. So let's see how the table looks at the end and hopefully we're in the automatic promotion positions. Okay, so this is how the table looks at the end of this episode. We managed to get four points from two games, which isn't bad. Fair enough, it's not bad. We did. We basically should have lost that game against Stevenage, but we held on for a null-all draw, which got us a point, which isn't bad. So we're currently in fifth place on 34 points. We're only three points behind the leaders, Barn at this time. We were four at the start. So we have moved up a place and we are closer to the top of the table. So it's really, really close. If you look down the table, like 31 points is Portsmouth in 11th place. Like they're only six points behind the leader. So it goes all the way down to mid table. So if I have another bad run of games like I did in the last episode, it could all be disaster. But we're playing well. It's not too bad. And we're scoring goals and we're through to the next round in the FA Cup as well. So leave it the... So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop it a like and let me know what to do with McLeod as his contract has been terminated in real life. Let me know what should I do with him. Terminate his contract or just sell him for profit or just leave him on the bench and just forget about him. Let me know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.